Welcome back, my outlaws. Welcome back to JSN Unfiltered. And I love the outlaws out here. I love my outlaws because you're not afraid to say what you feel. You know, you're not sheep. And that's what this channel is all about. I like to think out of the box, you know, uh, be objective. And so that's why I love it. I love the comments. Thank you. Keep them coming. Um, I want to talk about Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell, people who don't know, Uncle Luke, King of Miami, uh, two live crew member. Um, he came out and said on social media, why should we vote? And what are we getting for it? Pretty much. Um, and I want to play his video because he went viral. Because you know the 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 Democratic women, what they do, they come out and they attack to keep you on the plantation. And I want to go over this because this is very important. Uh, but first, I'm gonna play this clip. Check this out, and then I'll give you my two cents after. Yo, what up? This your boy Uncle Luke. I guess I went viral today. I asked a simple question. A simple question. A simple question, and the usual suspects did what? Try to change the narrative. Here's the question, simple as fuck. Give me five reasons why black people should vote in the next election. And then the second part of the question was, give me five black promises that has been fulfilled by politicians for black people, whether it's mayor or president. My homegirl Jamel Hill and Joy Reid took it out of context. Oh, Luther, you're telling people not to vote. Where in the fuck did I tell somebody not to vote? Please go look at the tweet. And then I went and did a whole space. And I DM'd them and invited them to come talk in the space. Crickets. We had 2,000 people in the space talking about this very topic. And I'm still trying to figure out where in the fuck did I say don't vote? That's the usual suspect y'all telling on yourself. Don't tell on yourself. Don't do it. You're telling on yourself. Why we can't hold elected officials accountable? Where's all you have to, the, the simple answer to the question was, Luke, here's their five reasons. And here's Five more reasons why we should be voting. And Luke, here are five things that they did. But you can. I would love to hear it. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Come for yourself. I applaud Luke for his courage to, to ask the question to the Democrats. And, you know, for me to just reiterate, he says, give me five reasons why black people should vote in the next election. Give me five black promises that have been fulfilled by politicians in the last election, mayor or president. And Jamel Hill, which is I, I really never did like her. She's a trouble starter. And first off, um, I don't think you should really be talking to another man in that manner, even though they say they're friends. Because if it goes south and uh, Luke Campbell's hands attack is, you know, with the culture, you can't talk back to a woman. You can't disrespect her. That's your sister and everything else like that. So uh, Jamel usually would have the upper hand on, in the argument. But I digress. So she could not answer that question. She could not answer the question. She went around it, if you will. You know, Joy Reid posted you know she said because without a sizable black vote the republicans uh who take over will further erode our voting rights which is that's not true and ban our history from schools which is not true she's talking about crt uh, that doesn't make any sense so let's continue enact forced birth laws that disappropriately targeted black women now that doesn't make any sense either and you know what we used to call it in 1900s was eugenics and they did that on purpose margaret sanger she did it because once the blacks got freed they did not want them to overpopulate the country and they told they specifically told white people to have a certain amount of kids so their population can grow because back in during slavery there were more uh Africans, 
you know, in the South, it was pretty much more Africans than more um, than white people down on the South, and because they were breeding them, but now they wanted them to stop breeding, and that's one of the things with is called eugenics. Let's not say abortion; it's eugenics. All right, so let's continue. Then you has uh, criminalize or right and pro um, to protect and five cut or access to health care. So this is what she's saying. Um, didn't answer the question. He, he specifically asked, what did this presidency, which has two branches of gov uh, government running, they have the actual president, which is a Democrat, and they have the, uh, the majority house and the majority Senate. So it doesn't, she didn't answer the question. You know, um, I know Jamel Hill chimed in because that's what she do, thinking she's smarter than everybody else. Jamel asked the question, uh, how will not voting help? She makes no sense. And then eventually Jamel Hill stated that um, we voted basically for the civil rights. Now, when they voted for the civil rights um, act, it was the Republicans that had the majority vote back then, not the Democrats. If there was Democrats, they were still the Dixiecrats. They were voting against it. But let's keep it 100. Ice Cube tried to talk to the president. He wouldn't see him. When anybody questioned him, that's why they didn't go to too many interviews. They blamed it on COVID. But anytime you questioned what they were doing, they said, boy, sit your butt down. Do you remember that? Uh, that cringy interview when Charlemagne tried to speak for him or speak to him and he said and he went off on him or when Kamala Harris did the same thing because they don't plan on doing anything for just black people they trying to do it for all people that's what happened with the civil rights movement that's what happened um, once the civil rights movement came in all these other groups went through that little window and then blacks end up being last in line. So this is what I, what he was asking. And I don't care what Jamel Hill or Joy Reid does. Because they're losing people to vote. And all they're doing is symbolism. It doesn't matter who you put into a system that is meant to do a certain thing. This is a machine. So it doesn't matter who they put in there. You could put a white, black, Asian. The system is not built for that it is a white supremacist system and that's why everybody trying to call it out when they see it and that's what so i applaud luke he might get canceled um i see he's trying to re act really nice to the sisters you know what i mean you can't you can't go at them uh too hard because you get canceled for that and ice cube which ice cube and Luke alone did way more for black people than a lot of people know. You know, uh, Luke Campbell, he actually was fighting for the the right to free speech, even though I didn't like his music and I thought it was crazy. And But he's the reason why they put um, stickers on albums because it was him. He fought it because he was going to jail for the stuff he was saying. And he just kept kept on doing it. And then you have Ice Cube, who was was uh, been really important for the culture as well. So, whatever. What do you think about Luke asking that question? What have they done? And what what do you feel about the Democrat people trying to keep you on that plantation by coming after him for saying that? Leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.